I've become enmeshed in the experience. Hmm. Hello. <laughs> Hi, my name is Carla Rossi, Portland's premier drag clown, the ghost of white privilege. And that's hilarious because white privilege will never die. <laughs> I am the Clown Professor Emeritus of Art Theory at the Institute for Digestive and Metaphysical Clown Research. Yes, and the Seattle Art Museum, my good friend Sam, <laughs> asked me to come out here to talk about Heffrey Gibson's Like a Hammer here at the Seattle Art Museum. I'm so happy to be here. Check? Does anyone have my check? Now, as you can tell, I know absolutely nothing about drag, <laughs> but I do love these punching bags because they're essentially drag. What else do you see when you look at this? A masculine object. Here, glittered, bedazzled, just throw some six inch pumps on her, call her Fiducia, and she's ready to go march on out on that stage. <laughs> Now, many of you have asked, but Carla, how do I enjoy art? First off, you take your cane, you chuck it. You don't need it anymore, girl. Now for this, you're gonna wanna, uh, uh, oh, oh gosh. Uh, uh, oh, oh, that's nice. Sometimes people often think you can't really enjoy art unless you're standing, you know, unless if you're, at eye level, it's a misnomer. You don't need to be at eye level to enjoy art. Sometimes you just, uh, hey. Uh, now, uh, to begin to take in a piece of art, you approach said art. Be mindful of the invisible barrier. Modern art galleries are installing invisible fences. Yes, it's like a dog necklace, an electric dog necklace. If you go past the line, you will receive a shock of voltage. Now, approach the art, do not cross the line, look, turn to your friend and say, my kid could do that, and then walk away. <whistles> this is called, mother, I don't know where I put your coupon, okay? <laughs> I love this work. You can see here the hapticity is just alive. It is sparkling. She is living with life, with lines, with angles, paint, applique, tempera, and all of it. And this down here, this actually right here, as you'll see here, demonstrated by my cane, is my contribution to the piece. I designed this. This is an installation. This is called um, Squiggle. It's about pain and war and death installation. You probably don't understand. Praxis. It's a whole thing. And pose. Fine art, everyone. I actually modeled for this piece right here. I went to Jeffrey, my good friend, Jeffrey Gibson. Jeffrey used a plasticization pro. Plastic, plastication, plastic, 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 plastic. Jeffrey used a plasticization process to render me here. He was able to use skin grafts to adhere me to this meat pole and then attached fancy dancing regalia and other boopies and bopples and dongles all into one beautiful narrative piece. This is all about, well, me. What else is there to say? Wow, we've sure learned a lot today, haven't we, gang? <laughs> I'm so happy to be your unofficial tour guide and Jeffrey Gibson's Like a Hammer exhibition. Thanks for coming. I'm gonna work out some unchecked aggression before I go to Trader Joe's. <sighs> Does anybody hear that? Does anybody hear that? It's like a, 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 no, it's just the calliope music inside my head, slowly driving me insane. <laughs>